Hey guys, welcome back to Yes or No Item Reviews. My name is Omar. This is Wife. I'm the wife. In this video, we're going to unbox, set up, review the Frigidaire Stainless Steel Countertop Ice Maker. And we're going to unbox right now. <laughs> My husband's too serious, man. So it comes with instruction booklets? Yes, booklet. it comes with the instruction booklet. Whoa! Look, guys, it looks like CPU, guys. Central processing unit of the computer. Look at that. I want to throw one of the styrofoam. And this one, too. What do you want? <laughs> Right, I guess we take them Whoa! Out. <laughs> Just for fun. Here, take this out. serious. <laughs> yeah, you take it out. So much work. Oh, finalist. Whoa! All right, so these are the only three things that came inside the box. So you got the Frigidaire, and you got these two papers. That one is the troubleshooting tips, and this one is the uh, instruction manual. And inside, it comes with a scooper so first plug it in and you'll notice the green power indicator light will blink open the cover and remove the ice basket pour water in and be sure to not go above the max water level which is marked for you right here if you accidentally go above the max level, be sure to take out some water. Otherwise, it will flood the ice basket once you put it back inside. Replace the ice basket and close the cover. Press the power button and the green indicator light will remain on. Now you get to choose small or large ice. We will start with large and review what this looks like. Before I start that though, here's a thought to consider. On the box itself, it says that it will make ice in less than six minutes. However, in the instruction manual, it says the first ice making cycle will last approximately eight to 13 minutes depending on the ice size that is selected. So I guess we gotta put this to the test. After turning it on and picking large ice, the ice maker starts to work. I started my timer a little late, so the time is going to result in approximation. Let's see how long till it makes ice. All right, this is at seven minutes and 39 seconds. So at 8 minutes, the ice maker scooped ice in the bucket. Let's go through a series of tests to see how fast it actually makes more ice. Oh, there it goes. So we're at 23 minutes and 41 seconds. Yay! This is how much it has after 30 minutes. According to these times that I have recorded, the ice maker actually does makes ice at approximately eight minutes each time. Keep in mind that this is the large ice option. Now, let's see how long the ice maker takes to fill up the ice bucket. Hey guys, quick question. Is this video helping you? If so, do yourself a favor by clicking the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so that you'll be the first to get notified to all the latest videos. Let's get back to the review. So it's 39 minutes and 36 seconds. 47 minutes and 30 seconds. been an hour and 39 minutes and here we go maybe this is the last one 
Is it gonna say fool? Oh yes, there it is. It finally kicked in. It says ice full. So it took about an hour and 39 minutes to fill up the ice bucket. Now let's see how much ice this ice bucket actually gives you when the ice bucket is full. All right, so that took a while. But here I have the Vitamix because I wanted to show you the measurement. So here I have two liters or 2000 milliliters. We'll see how much ice this actually produced. How much did it give me? About 1,250 milliliters. So I scooped out all of the ice already. I was wondering if it could make ice while the lid is open. So look, the lid is open and it still keeps making it. Okay, here's your typical ice tray. I'm gonna take one out right now. So here is a little comparison side by side. So this is large and this is ice tray. So now it says add water. So finally finished. So there's still a little bit left, but it still says add water. So you know it doesn't use up every single water. Here's another question. Does small ice mode have the same results as large ice mode? Let's find out. Okay, and let's put the small right there. Let's start it. As you see here, the ice maker dumps out ice at nine minutes. Keep in mind that this is small ice mode. Now, the ice maker dumps out ice at 15 minutes and 25 seconds. Therefore, we can conclude that small ice mode only takes a little over 6 minutes as advertised versus large ice mode that takes about 8 minutes to make ice. Alright, next question. How does small ice mode from the ice maker compare to a standard ice cube from an ice tray? Thank you. So this is, comes from the refrigerator, and that's the small. Another interesting question right here is how long does it take for small ice mode to fill up the ice bucket compared to large ice mode? Let's find out right now. As you can see here, the small mode took about 1 hour and 39 minutes to fill up the ice bucket, which is the exact same duration as the large mode. Although I did not count individual ice, I would bet that the small ice mode made more ice than the large ice mode when the bucket was full. Here are some good things about this Frigidaire ice maker. It's easy to use and easy to set up. As you saw earlier, the buttons are self-explanatory and there wasn't much to set up. Just add water. According to the review, this ice maker actually does make ice in approximately 6 minutes if you choose small mode. Another thing I noticed was that this ice maker was actually quiet. You barely notice any sound if you just go about your day. Some negative things about this ice maker is that it could be misleading. What I mean is that on the box it said it could make ice in 6 minutes, but the instruction booklet said 8 to 13 minutes when you first start it, and that's if you pick large mode. So a person that expects large chunks of ice in 6 minutes might be upset. Although there are two different size ices, small and large do not have gigantic differences from each other, but they both have big differences between the ice tray type ice. Honestly though, I still think this is a good purchase. This ice maker is only bad if you're constantly staring and waiting for ice. But if you don't think about ice so much, you'll notice that you don't always need ice immediately. Just let the ice maker do its job and enjoy ice when you need it. If you want to learn more about this Frigidaire ice maker, or if you want to purchase one for yourself, I'll leave links in the description section below. And please let us know your opinion on this item in the comment section because we would love to hear what you think about it. Also, check out these other clips that are similar and related to this video to the right of the screen. Until then, I will see you at the next item.